an old saying that states, life is a pot of beans. But what does that even mean? Well, to me it means we need to find out which bean-shaped team would win in a fight. The Fall Guys versus the Among Us crewmates and imposters. Yes, they are working together in this episode. Well, they kinda have to because they don't really know who's the imposter anyway. But these two will fight it out and we will find out which team has the better fighters. Not who has the better game, but who would win in a fight. Now, if you're more of a pacifist, we do got a rap battle between the two teams. You can watch that by clicking the card in the top right or link down below to see that cartoon rap attack episode. Now, quick rule for this specific fight, we are not using any hacks or mods. We are only factoring canonical abilities. With that in mind and without further ado, I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of ads. Oh. Do you remember that TV show Wipeout? Do you remember Baymax? Do you remember Dumb Ways to Die? And finally, do you remember the Lemmings? Well, I'm no chemist, but I'm pretty sure if you mix all four of these things together, you would get something similar to the Fall Guys. Take the hyper-colorful Try Not to Fall Arena from Wipeout, the simplistic yet memorable puffy face of Baymax, the strategy and timing of the Lemmings, and the colorful yet dangerous acts of Dumb Ways to Die, and you get what I believe is the Fall Guys. Now, now, I'm not going to waste your time with a mundane review of this game. What you came for is to find out how powerful the Fall Guys are and what their abilities are. Physically speaking, these guys are pretty big. According to the Fall Guys lead designer, the Fall Guys are roughly 6 feet tall and weigh about half a Mike Wazowski or as much as 3 minions. Take that how you will. Apparently, they also taste like the back of a stamp. For those that really wanted to know, I guess it's important. So if the Fall Guys are roughly 6 feet tall, the balls that they are pushing around must have a diameter of roughly 3 Fall Guys or around 18 feet. A normal sized soccer ball can weigh around 1 pound give or take a few different circumstances, so a ball this big should weigh around 20 to 50 pounds, depending on the material type and air inflation. And while that might not be super impressive, but pushing a giant golden egg, dealing with wrecking balls, giant fruit, and cannonballs are much more impressive. A normal large egg with a 56 milliliter vertical length should weigh around 57 grams or 2 ounces. An egg with a roughly 25 foot vertical diameter would be around 7,620 times larger than a normal egg that you eat for breakfast and the shell would be much harder to keep in all that yolk in. Plus apparently this egg is made of gold which makes things even heavier. Gold's weight per cubic foot is about 1,206 pounds or 547 kilograms. Meaning an egg this large, if we really lowball things, and I'm trying to be generous here with the lowball, we see the Fall Guys having the strength to bop this thing around, meaning they have the strength to lift about 9.1 million pounds or 4.1 million kilograms. That is about 4,594 tons. This should put their strength at around building level. And this isn't an outlier as their durability measures up to this. Plus, in an interview, Fall Guys are potentially capable of tearing a normal human body in half with their own strength. Fall Guys can get smacked around with wrecking balls, the same size as those soccer balls, and recover in seconds with no apparent long-term injuries. Same with getting ran over by fruit. Let's lowball this feat, because even with lowballing, it's still pretty impressive. Cannonballs get launched at around 80 miles per hour. One of the world's largest watermelon weighs almost 300 pounds. A watermelon much larger like the ones that appear in this game, if we lowball things, could easily weigh from 35,000 pounds to 90,000 pounds. This would be the equivalent of getting hit by a semi truck ramming you at 80 miles per hour or 128 kilometers per hour. And then imagine getting hit by that and taking no damage like it never happened a few seconds later. This means a single fall guy should easily have large building level durability. They also have tons of stamina. They have the stamina to perform multiple games back to back, and in an interview, it stated that they compete 24-7. Now, while they are physical powerhouses, they do have their weaknesses. Even though they have plenty of party and obstacle experience, they have practically zero 
combat experience. They are also very clumsy and pretty passive in nature. They're also really slow. It takes them 7 seconds to run half the distance of the soccer field, so it would take roughly 14 seconds to run the full distance. Using the dots on the field and the height of the players, we can find out the length of the field. The field is 14 dots in length, and the space between each dot is roughly 15 feet, which makes the field roughly 210 feet long. This means the players are running at roughly 10.2 miles per hour, or 16.4 kilometers per hour, which makes sense. They are rather slow, or at least average speed when compared to their supreme strength. Don't freak out guys, but there is a pre-analysis among us. W was that not funny? Well, I guess then there was a bad pun among us. Okay, okay, I'll stop. Plus, we really got a lot to go over. This game was developed by Inner Sloth. So don't get distracted. Now, imagine that you have some very serious work, like maintaining a space crew. Take all the stress and pressure needed to do that job responsibly, and add on top of it the fact that one of the members is actually an imposter who is trying to kill every other member. The worst part is, sometimes it's not even one. There can be multiple imposters. But you don't want me to spoil the entirety of this game, or its premise. You want me to tell you just how powerful these armless astronauts are. And don't let these headless looking Teletubbies fool you. They may seem quite cute and colorful in appearance, but they can very easily be cunning savages who can kill in the blink of an eye. I myself never knew astronauts can be such skilled killers. They are strong enough to obliterate each other with their own hands. They can easily snap each other's necks. The imposter may even be part alien. At least I have never seen a human with that kind of mouth. They are fast enough to dart through vent systems rather quickly. They are equipped with knives and pistols, with bullets strong enough to rip through an astronaut suit and blow out their heads. They are smart enough to do research with fossils and chemicals, even capable of running a spaceship by fixing electronics, engines, and other machines. Beyond the skill to kill, speed is this team's greatest strength. They are fast enough to react and shoot down meteors. This would give them the reaction speed of 160,000 miles per hour, or Mach 210. Now this is not travel or combat speed, but having this insane level of reaction speed would be a great way for them to react to any incoming dangers the Fall Guys could throw at them. Obviously in a game like Among Us, it requires you to be skillful in detective work, manipulation, and even strategy. This is great for obvious reasons, but it also has its downside considering there are imposters among the team. This is a team battle, and having trust issues on a team is going to be a detriment when your biggest threat might actually come from within. Also, beyond having great speed and combat skill, as far as durability goes, they seem to have the durability of an average human being being able to die from simple things like stabbings and gunfire. Dude, take my picture! <laughs> Say what? And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin!
Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind's Larry Winwood. I'd also like to thank Larry Winwood for helping out with the research slash notes. Thanks, and enjoy the post analysis. <laughs>there is a winner among us, and it's the crewmates. The Fall Guys do what they do best, and that is fall, as they fell, and the crewmates rose to a victory. While physically the Fall Guys are naturally superior, and probably make a better team, they lack any real ways of getting up close and impersonal to the Among Us team thanks to their much superior speed as the Among Us team can react to meteors. Now, it isn't going to be easy for either team to truly kill off the other. The Fall Guys are going to have a really tough time catching or dodging attacks from the astronauts. We went over how slow they are in the pre-analysis as they can only run at roughly 10 miles per hour or 14 kilometers per hour. There is no way they'll be able to dodge bullets or travel at roughly Mach 2 speeds to do so. Now on the flip side, the crewmates and imposters are going to have a tough time dealing with the Fall Guys' durability. In the pre-analysis, we covered how the Fall Guys have building level durability as they can survive getting whacked by wrecking balls and ran over by giant fruit. Now it is clear that getting hit by these things do knock them out for a few seconds, so obviously some damage is done, but nothing noticeable or long term. The Among Us team could win via battlefield removal, and using this tactic, to have the Fall Guys lose in the one way they lose on a casual basis, and that's by falling off the arena, both literally and figuratively. And I'm sure with enough bullets, the Fall Guys will reach a tipping point. They are tough, but they aren't omnipotent. The astronauts, while are pretty much glass cannons with very low durability, they are going to be near impossible to catch, considering they are fast enough to react to meteors. The Among Us team are also much smarter than the Fall Guys, as they are skilled in working together with their high-tech equipment and are seen using strategy and manipulation far more often than the Fall Guys are. Heck, the Fall Guys don't even have fighting experience, whereas the Among Us team are pretty much killers, making the winner of this battle Team Among Us. Now, if you want to see a rematch with mods, hacks, and cheats, all you gotta do is like this video and we'll revamp both teams. Slap a like, if this thing reaches 5,000 likes, a rematch will be put into production. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club.